Hey, Gopher fans, it's Mike Grimm from Gopher Radio and GopherSports.com. It's my pleasure to be the first to officially interview the new Golden Gopher Volleyball coach, Keegan Cook. Coach, welcome to the University of Minnesota. Thank you. Feel, feel welcome. Yeah. yeah. What a community. We had a good uh, reception today. You've been on the job a week, but uh, now it's real. You spent a lot of time at the coaches' convention as the president of the American Volleyball Coaches Association, so I'm sure that was busy um, helping promote the game at the Final Four. And, now here you are wearing maroon and gold. What's the last week been like? Uh, yeah, the fastest week of my life maybe is how I would describe it. Um, uh, surreal, uh, but maybe the overriding feeling is just it feels right. What makes it feel right? You were very successful at Washington, Pac-12 titles, Final Four berths. You had things rolling there. What, uh, what makes Minnesota the spot for you now? It, it's not any one thing, you know, but I think it starts with um, just the players that I've gotten to spend time with, um, their potential, their aspirations. Uh, the community, you know, it's just been unbelievable to see the level of support that this program's had. And then in the history, both with the coaches and, uh, and with the performance of the program, those things uh, make it easy to get up every day and get to work. <laughs> we are, of course, taping this in the uh, Maturi Pavilion, which uh, for most nights for Gopher Volleyball is full. Um, what, uh, what can you say about uh, bringing your team out um, here as the Gopher head coach into a place that you know is going to be full most nights? Um, you mentioned that community support, um, kind of a cool old building. I know you coach in a cool old building too at Washington, but yeah. um, here you are with, the, with this kind of fan support. Was that, was that one, of the, one of the factors? Yeah, I think fourth in national attendance this year. And uh, sometimes you're watching film and you feel like you can feel the intensity through, through the film screen when I've watched. But I, I think about that first night, you know, the first match here is going to be a special moment uh, to, to join this community and, and get to work. So I think about that a lot. What will be your next few things that are on the docket for you to do now here in the short term? Obviously, long term, um, we can talk about NCAA tournaments and, and the ultimate goal. But in the short term, what are things that, that you need to get accomplished here in the next few weeks? Do you yeah, think? people's people values volleyball is, is the order in which I kind of approach things. So spending time with our current team, building some trust and some communication, finding an outstanding staff to join us. Uh, and then season, spring season starts, I think, January 17th. So uh, there's time for it all, but definitely in that order. Your coaching philosophy, you hit on it there maybe a little bit with, with those three pillars. What, uh, what, what type of a coach are you in terms of, not strategically, not in terms of where you're lining your athletes up on the court, but just stylistically, how you handle your team, how you might you know, handle matches and those kind of things? Yeah, <clears throat> maybe the, the, the grounding words for me are sincerity. I think the athletes hopefully will feel sincerity and intentionality, but then growth. You know, that's something that I've been known for and our programs that I've been a part of have been known for is players come in here with their talent and their skills. They leave here uh, with a tremendous amount of growth. And then on the court, what kind of uh, uh, situation do we look for there? Yeah, certainly not starting from ground zero here. Yeah. So uh, looking to build on, on, on the talent and success of this team, but hopefully add my own, uh, my own style in terms of serving, in terms of blocking uh, and some offensive uh, creativity as well. You mentioned earlier today that um, that taking over a program after Mike Hubert or Hebert and um, Hugh McCutcheon had, had done so many wonderful things that it motivates you. You feel um, not pressure, but maybe responsibility. Take me through your thoughts there in terms of taking over a program that, that has hit some good heights, still heights to hit though too. Yeah, again, you start to learn as a coach, just uh, you know yourself as time goes on, you know what motivates you, you know what aligns with you. and. And responsibility is just something that I've, that I've sought after and found. Maybe I didn't know it at the time that it was important to me, but um, we're all trying to become the highest level of, of, our, of ourselves. And um, who I'm following here at the University of Minnesota, uh, again, motivates me to, to chase that. California native, went to St. Mary's, played club volleyball there. Yep. Um, then on to Washington and now to the Midwest. Um, how much of a change will that be for you? Uh, I mean, it's only supposed to be 50 to below zero here this week, right? Yeah, really important coach to me said it's not where you are, it's who you are. And, um, and I think about that often when I find myself in strange spaces around the world coaching volleyball. But uh, everything about this place feels like a great place to be home for my family. And you've had some international experience too. What, what have you taken from that that can help you as a college coach? Yeah, I think the places that our players want to go uh, within the USA volleyball program, within professional career, I've been in those spaces, I've seen what it takes. I, I have an equal amount of passion for those spaces. And, uh, and so, yeah, I think that's another big reason why I'm here is, is to help our players continue that journey. Tell us a little bit about you, uh, your wife, 
and your young one. Yeah, wife, Sarah Cook, uh, volleyball brought her to me. Uh, she's part of a volleyball royalty in Colorado, I'd say. Uh, I'm always required to let everyone know that she's the best competitor in our family, as you may have heard me say. Uh, that was a, a wedding vow that I have to continue to uphold. But uh, our son, you know, when, when you have a son or you have a son or daughter, it changes everything. And, uh, and certainly Oliver has, has changed the way I look at my career, my vocation, and, and was a big reason why I'm here now. And then as you look forward from that, uh, what are some things when you're not coaching volleyball that uh, you and Sarah and Oliver like to do? Yeah, we have a shared passion for skiing, which I think is good. Uh, we have to work a little harder to find uh, our kind of skiing, but that's okay. We'll have the snow. Uh, we're, we're avid uh, card players. We like to compete. I always tell her I'm a skill-based competitor, not an athleticism-based competitor. So, uh, And then we, we love to cook and we love to, to share time with, with people. And so. That's enough hobbies for a coach, I think, to kind of get you through the winter. Very good. Well, welcome to Minneapolis. Welcome to Maturi Pavilion. You're the new Golden Gopher head volleyball coach. Thanks. Go Gophers.